Hello, my name is Jaakko Juntunen. I am the head of EM applications in AWR Europe. I will demonstrate you today a new feature in AWR design environment, the parameterized EM shapes. In this example, we consider the optimization of a multi-layer via transition. So we have a 12-layer board here and our signal uh, goes from layer 1 to layer 7. And in this case, we want to study the impact of the opening on the signal quality. And to facilitate the task, we now have access to so-called shape uh, modifiers that can be used to parameterize the problem such, such that we have just a single numerical parameter that characterizes the dimension of the opening. If we look at the EM document, here we can recognize a number of those shape modifiers. They act on each individual layer. So basically, we could have also different opening for different layers. We also have a position modifier which moves the ground vias also according to the opening dimension. There is a sanity check uh, functionality available, which is highly recommended to, to check the, the different values before you run the simulation. If we look at the so-called EM schematic, we can see that we, I have introduced the numerical parameter RO for the opening radius, and I'm running a sweep variable control stepping that variable between values 1.3 and 3.1 in this case. So if I right-click the EM document and check the preview geometry, then I can step through each individual value of the parameter. This can indeed be used as a sanity check to see that for all parameter combinations, our geometry is still valid and we are not having any simulation problems. The good thing in this methodology is that when the simulation is done, then we can use the model offline. Indeed, if I define a schematic in which I use this model, the parameter is automatically provided as a numerical parameter as in any AWR submodel. If we look at the results here in this Smith chart plot, we have the result due to all different seven combinations of parameter RO uh, shown in, in gray. The blue curve represents the schematic result. I have set the parameter RO tunable in the schematic. And you can see when I launch the tuning slider and I move the slider over different values, the blue curve actually interpolates between the values that were actually simulated in, in the EM document. So this methodology provides us a very, very efficient way of performing both optimization and yield analysis. And also for, for general EM design, we can have as many numerical parameters as desired, but we have to be, of course, careful if we perform parameter sweeps that the parameters, uh, parameter space does not become too large. With a single parameter, like in this case, this is a very, very easy task. And this is not, not time-consuming EM simulation. But nevertheless, even if we had many more parameters, and if our simulation would take maybe a couple of hours, then we can use the offline model essentially instantaneously. So thank you very much for your attention.